What's up? This is Justin with wingsound.com. In this video, you'll learn how to layer your drum sounds so you can get more punch and articulation in all your drums and they'll be able to stick out in the mix. Check it out. So what I've done here is I've created two instrument tracks, both with the boom plugin instantiated on them, which is a drum sequencer that comes with Pro Tools 8. So here I have on instrument track one, I have a sequence, full sequence with the kick, snare, hi-hats and all that stuff. And then on the second instrument track, I have the same sequence copied, but just the kick drum sequence. So now this technique I'm going to show you will work if you're using acoustic drums as well. If you got an acoustic kick drum, all you want to do is create another audio track and copy and paste the exact kick drum hits onto that new audio track that you've created. Okay, so what you want to do is on the copy track, you want to instantiate a compressor. Now these settings that I'm going to use aren't the be all end all settings, but they're a great place to start and they're typically used. So you want to move the threshold down to about 50, move the release to about 10 milliseconds. The attack you want to move somewhere between 150 and 200 milliseconds. And then you want to bring the ratio up to about four to one and you want to hard knee. So basically what this compressor is going to do is on that kick drum, it's just going to pick up the transients, not the full kick sound of the resonance and the decay and all that stuff. So I'll play that so you can hear it. So you hear it's a bit clicky, but that's what you want. So another thing what you can do is instantiate the EQ on it. <clears throat> and you want to bring out that transient hit a little bit more. So what I'm going to do is boost a little bit of 2K. You don't want to boost too much because then it's going to get too clicky. I'm going to widen this out a little bit. So I'm boosting 2K and some of the frequencies around it as well. And then what I want to do is take out some of the really high highs. So it's like, again, not too clicky. So I've, you know, cut 10K. So now what this is going to do is it's just the transient that this copy track is picking up. So what you're going to do is mix that transient hit together with the kick drum. So you're going to hear all the kick drum hits and, you know, the articulation. Because once you add all your instruments on top of it, it's going to be hard to pick it out. You know, so this is going to make sure your kick is sits in your mix and stays there and you could hear all the hits. So first what I'm going to do is play it without and then with. So if you listen real closely, you can hear the kick hits a lot cleaner. You can always get in touch with Justin at wingsound.com and check out more of Justin's videos, including these titles featuring the new Pro Tools 8, now available on demand at wingsound.com.